Hello friends, welcome to our new lecture of signals and systems. Today we are going to learn about time scaling of discrete time signal. Now, if Xn is a discrete signal, then the time scaling of Xn is represented as Yn equal to X of Kn where k is our scaling factor where k is our scaling factor now this is the definition of time scaling of a discrete time signal now this value of k can be either greater than 1 or k can be less than 1 okay now if k is greater than 1 then our signal will undergo compression xn will undergo compression and if k is less than 1 then xn will undergo expansion this will be more clear after we take an example so let's take suppose xn is a discrete time signal let's take xn is a discrete time signal at n equal to 0 xn is 4 at n equal to 1 xn is 3 at n equal to 2 xn is 2 at n equal to 3 xn is 1 at n equal to 4 xn is 0 and it is 0 in the right side at n equal to minus 1 xn is 3 again at n equal to minus 2 xn is 2 at n equal to minus 1 minus 3 sorry xn is 1 and at n equal to minus 4 xn is 0 and it is 0 again so this is our xn signal i want to show you that we can also write xn as 4 3 2 1 and 1 2 3 4 So these are the values of set of values of xn for different values of n for different values of n. Now you may ask that what are the indexes how will we know that at which index of n what is the value of xn. So for this wait we have an arrow. This arrow signifies that this is index n equal to 0 at n equal to 0 xn is 4 so similarly you can go right side and you can find this is the value of xn at n equal to 1 this is the value of xn at n equal to 2 this is the value of xn at n equal to 3 similarly this is the value of xn at n equal to minus 1 value of xn at n equal to minus 2 and n equal to minus 3 right now suppose in case 1 case 1 suppose y n equal to x of 2 n where our k is equal to 2 so as we learn above our signal should undergo compression so what we'll do skip skip k minus 1 values of xn always remember this is for case 1 okay for case 1 we will skip k minus 1 values of xn each time so let's make the changes in this graph only 
so k minus 1 right so in this case our k is equal to 2 so k minus 1 equal to 2 minus 1 equal to 1 so we will skip every one value so it, we will start from n equal to 0 we'll keep n equal to 0 we will keep n equal to 0 we'll keep n equal to 0 then we'll skip one value one value after n equal to 0 so we will skip this we will skip this one we will skip then again we'll take the second value of xn then again we will skip this then after that what all values are 0 only similarly we will do that in the left side also that we are taking n equal to 0 always start from n equal to 0 ok we are starting from n equal to 0 so we skip we skip this n equal to minus 1 we skip then we take n equal to minus 2 then we are skipping every 1 1 value so we are skipping minus 3 and we got this so like this we got the value of yn this is now yn okay this is now yn like this by skipping the alternate values we can in this case it's alternate because k minus 1 we got as 1 so we got the after skipping 1 1 values of xn we got the our yn signal so from this technique we got the set of values of yn so let's write it here first what are the set of values one will get? We'll get four. Okay. We'll get four. Then we'll get two. And no more values are there. So nothing. And in left side we'll get again one, two. So two, four, two. This is our Y N signal. So this is our Y N signal. Let's draw it here how it looks. So as you can see from here, this is index n equal to 0. At n equal to 0, yn is 4. n equal to 1, yn is 2. n equal to minus 1, yn is 2 again. So this is 1, this is minus 1. And for all the other values of n, yn is 0. So this is our case 1. I hope you have understood the case 1. So case 1 is clear right now so we can see clearly that if this is our xn signal we can see clearly that if this is our xn signal then this is our yn signal and this is a compressed version of xn let's see case 2 in case 2 yn equal to x of yn equal to x of n by 2 in case 2 yn equal to x of n by 2 our k is 1 by 2 now which is less than 1 so as we learn above our signal should undergo expansion right so let's first write the xn signal and from there only we can very quickly find the yn signal for case 2 when k is less than 1 so our signal was like this 4, 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? And index was index n equal to 0 was at uh, here 4. Now whenever our k is less than 1, take the denominator. Denominator is 2. Then find d minus 1 d minus 1 equal to 2 minus 1 equal to 1 so after every value of xn insert this many number of 0 whenever our in case 2 in case 2 whenever our k is less than 1 first find the denominator we find the denominator d equal to 2 calculate d minus 1 means we have to insert d minus 1 0 after every value of xn so if our signal xn is this then we'll insert d minus 1 0 that means 4 0 3 0 2 0 1 and here also 1 0 2 0 3 0 4 and in this case the index n equal to 0 remains the same 
so from here we have found that this is n equal to 0 similarly we can go right side n equal to 2 this is our signal so this is our signal y n at n equal to 0 n equal to 0 y n is 4 at n equal to 1 y n is 0 at n equal to 2 y n is 3 at n equal to 3 y n is 0 again at n equal to 4 y n is 2 at n equal to 5 y n is 0 again at n equal to 6 y n is 1 similarly in the left side of the x axis at y equal to minus 1 at n equal to minus 1 y n is 0 at n equal to minus 2 y n is 3 at n equal to minus 3 y n is 0 again at n equal to minus 4 y n is 2 at n equal to minus 5 y n is 0 again at n equal to minus 6 y n is 1 so here this is our signal y n equal to x n by 2 where k equal to 1 by 2 is less than 1. Here we can clearly see that this is the expanded version of our original signal x n. So I hope you have understood what I have tried to explain all together in this lecture. So first of all we have learned that if we have x n as a signal then after time scaling the time scale version of x n that is equal to y n can be represented as x of k n now this depends upon the value of k whether it will be compressed or x n will be expanded then we have taken two cases for case 1 for case 1 we took first of all y n equal to x of 2 n where k equal to 2 so for this the technique is skip k minus 1 values of xn then we will get the value of yn so whenever k of value of k is positive we skip k minus value of xn so in this case we skip in this case we skip 1 1 value of xn and we took n equal to 0 we took n equal to 2 and in the left side we took n equal to minus 2 uh, because we are skipping here every alternate value 1 1 value we are skipping we got the signal y n to x of 2 n where 2 is greater than 1 we have to skip every k minus 1 value secondly we check in case number 2 when y n is this time our x of n by 2 here k is equal to 1 by 2 uh, here if the denominator is d then we insert insert d minus 1 0 after each values of x n that after every real values of x n we are inserting n min d minus 1 that is 1 1 value of x n so by doing this we get our new signal y n so i hope you have understood the lecture completely thank you